Welcome to Dolphin Components. We hope that you have found everything you need in our online catalog and our user-friendly website. Please feel free to contact our support staff if you have additional questions about our products or the instructions in this video. This is a demonstration of the proper procedure for wiring a Dolphin 180 degree category 5E and 6 keystone jack with a punch down tool. These instructions will be the same for all 5E and 6 jacks, whether shielded or unshielded. This application will require a stripping tool and the Dolphin punch down tool DC3140. Today we are wiring a Dolphin 180 degree keystone jack, a DC KJ6S18, which is a shielded model. These instructions will apply to Dolphin's CAT 5E and 6 jacks, whether shielded or unshielded. Some of these instructions may not apply depending on the cable you are using. Beginning at the raw end of the cable, strip a small length of the outer sheathing to expose twisted pairs, the central wire separator, also known as a spleen, and the pull string. Once you've done that, use the pull string to expose 2 to 3 inches of fresh twisted pairs to avoid using any wire that may have been nicked during stripping. Cut back wire separator or spleen and pull string to tip of the outer insulation. Using the color-coded chart seen in each connector, pull twisted pairs over to the color corresponding teeth inside of the canal and untwist just enough wire to position wires in the teeth from cable canal. Place edge of outer insulation against the top of teeth facing into the center of the cable canal separating rows of teeth and position twisted pairs inside of cable canal. Using the punch down tool with the cutting edge on the outside edge of the jack, punch wire down into the teeth and tool will cut off the excess wire. Once twisted pairs have been punched down into the teeth, apply strain relief cap and use cable ties to secure cap to cable. Use a 5E or 6 connection tester to certify the connection. And remember, to ensure that you maintain your cable rating, make sure that the outer cable insulation is inserted into the entry tunnel of the strain relief cap. 